All right. So today I'm gonna talk about why I use this x right color checker passport video uh, for making these YouTube videos. There it is. Hey, what's up guys, this is Marco. So today we're gonna talk about getting your colors right. I know this is something I struggled with, especially with my Sony cameras. I don't know if you know this, but with Sony cameras, it's it's kind of difficult to get your skin tones just right because right off the top, it doesn't give you the best uh, or accurate skin tones. Uh, so I'm always having to correct for it. I'm having to correct for white balance issues, even though I set my camera correctly, uh, the, the I guess the temperature correctly on the camera. There's, you know, still I, I have to do a lot of correcting and it's time consuming. Uh, now th take into consideration the light I'm using. This right here, my main key light, this is like a 5,700 Kelvin, temperature this light that's hitting my the side of my face let me show you this this is pretty cool i have a control for this light ah uh, you see that that's set like at 3200 or something like that 3600 and then that backlight back there that's lighting up this background that's like 2700 kelvin light bulb we're getting mixed temperature around going around here so in that case you know it's harder to nail your white balance especially you know i use different type of lenses i use uh, a roker x minota 50 millimeter roker x uh, and that one gives me a different white temperature than the lens i'm using right now which is uh what is it that's a, a samyang rokinon lens so i've noticed that they give me a different skin tone colors which is weird right you wouldn't think that that would be the case but yes just be aware of that uh so that's why you want to nail your white balance sometimes you're not you know even if you have it right on camera you're not necessarily going to get perfect uh white balance so that's why you need to a thing like this one with this x right color checker it's very easy because what you do is you set this in front of your face for like a second. That's it, that's all you need. When you go into your video editor, I use Final Cut Pro X, it's very easy to automatically get the correct white balance. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So let's jump over to the computer. All right, so here's a video we just shot. And as you can see here, this is a spot where I put the color checker in front of my face. There's a reason I did that. And I'm gonna show you in a little bit why. Uh, first of all, I shot this in S-Log2, which is a flat picture profile, but this is not a problem. Let me bring up, um, bring in an adjustment layer. This is provided by Color Finale. Uh, let me close this. And the next thing we do is, uh, since we're gonna use an adjustment layer, we're gonna drop the Color Finale plugin to our adjustment layer. I'm gonna go kind of fast. So select open controls, select this little wheel. I'm not sure what this is called. And we're gonna select display chart grid, right? And chart type, you see there's only one option, color checker passport video, which is this model right here. This is the reason I bought this exact same model. Uh, so the next thing is we're gonna select around our color chart, our color chips. So let's zoom in here and then let's move this over here. We're gonna start with yellow. We move to green and white and black. And then we just uh, make sure that these wheels sit inside the box, their corresponding color. All right, just gonna drag a little bit. Everything looks like it's good. Now select match. Boom, and there, it does most of the work for us. Now let's open up the color wheels and let me zoom out. Uh, the highlights are looking a little bit too bright for my taste. So uh, I'm gonna bring him down and also the midtones, just bring him down a little bit. Let's bring up the, the scopes. Um, oh, here's a good... Uh, you know, it would be nice. It, it, you could also, if you don't have color finale, you could always select these uh, the, the, these top chips. You can make sure that if, if you open up the vector scopes, that the green corresponds with the green, the yellow uh, moves, uh, it corresponds with yellow and red, magenta. So this would correspond to all these uh, colors, vector scopes. So that's another way you could do that. Um, all right, I wanna open up the waveform and I already can see that the blacks are probably too strong so I can, maybe this is because I, no, this is because I can bring up my blacks just a little bit there and then the highlights are too strong. And I'm gonna add further, further contrast with some curves 
Let's see. I think that's looking much better. Uh, the last thing I do, well, you could add a LUT and all this stuff, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of this video. I'm just going to make sure that the skin tones are right by adding a mask. I'm going to draw a mask around my forehead. Usually I do around my forehead. And that um, the skin tones are sitting kind of high in the brightness. But that's okay. Let's just check the skin tones. And you can see it's not right on the skin tone line. My skin tone is actually fine if it doesn't sit in there, if it sits a little bit to the left. But just for the sake of it, let's let's make sure that it sits on the skin tone line. So the hue, we go to the red chip and we just drag it over to the right and there. I don't want to do it overdo it too much. Actually, I can bring it back a little bit more. And uh, let's undo the mask. And let's see the difference. You see that? It just added a little bit more of blood into my, my face. It looks more natural. And this is a common problem with Sony cameras. All right. So that's it. That's pretty much it. You're done. You you can you can you can apply a lot and do other stylistic stuff that I like to do. But for the sake of this video, uh, you're pretty much done. You can just drag the uh, adjustment layer throughout your timeline. And guess what? You color graded your whole video. All right. Lastly, I want to show you that. Uh, you could also do this when your white balance is off. In this case, you can't really tell, but I set my white balance to 4,000, which is way off. It should have been at 5,600 like my other clips. So let's do again uh, what we did before. Let's go to Color Finale, drop it into our video clip, open controls, select this uh, tab, uh, this wheel, display uh, chart grid, passport video is our only option. We select around the yellow, green, white and black and then let's zoom in here again to 400 percent and let's see okay i'm gonna make sure that the wheels are in centered hit match there you go it fixed uh the white balance issue if we hadn't done this uh, with the matching probably the whole white balance would be off because I got it wrong on the camera. So just be aware of that. So there it is, that's pretty simple, right? It doesn't take much work. Uh, it just does like 60% or 75% of the work for us in, in color grading, color correcting. Uh, so that's why I love it. I wanted to save time. I didn't want to spend a lot of time with my color grading. Uh, so this does a great job, especially with, uh, if you're doing corporate type of work, you're gonna use this. Also, I chose this uh, profile, this hard case, because I just wanna throw this in my bag. I don't wanna carry a paper, which I've had those before, and those tend to crumble up, and sometimes they don't fit in my camera bags. This can very easily fit in my back pocket, in my jacket, somewhere around here, or, you know, it's not gonna take space. Also, it's not gonna crumple up because this is a hard case. This is the only reason I got it. I wanted the hard case. I wanted it to be small and to carry, carry it with me wherever I go. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll have a link, a link in the description to this model right here. This is the one I prefer, even though it costs a little bit more money. I'll also link to some other ones, but uh, just be aware that with uh, Color Finale and Final Cut Pro X, this is the only profile that you can automatically do a white balance check, as far as I know. So that's why I recommend this one. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.